All right, let's get into WWF Whoa. SmackDown from Whoa. September 16th, 1999. How old were you? Ooh, wee. I was what, six? I was seven. Tony I was 27. 27! <laughs> <laughs> saw you in the crowd, man. You're going crazy. Yeah. Right I saw you in commentary. Like, Bring back Bruno. What was that sign for? <laughs> George Hagen. <laughs> shit. <laughs> so we start off with a cold open. The WWF referees are on strike due They've to what happened enough. on Monday night. <laughs> Yeah, they said. Uh, Teddy Long says we ain't taking it no more. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only guy with the line out there. Yeah. <laughs> There's a sign There's that says we won't go down for the count. How long before you, the show do you think this was? Because it says earlier today, and it's still sunny out. Yeah, but there's still fans sunny. there, so I don't know. I assume don't call know. time, probably. Maybe. Like right when yeah. they started lining up for it, you know. <laughs> I like to think yeah. it's like 9 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> the fans are already there. out there, man. That yeah, product was hot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So the referees are on strike. They don't show exactly here at the beginning why they're on strike, but I promise you, they will show you tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you, you find know. out. Yeah. Then they hit the intro. No lyrics to the song. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty... I mean, the lyrics... I got the lyrics right here. <laughs> oh, do you? What are yeah. they? Everybody on the ground. Dibby, 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 no, it doesn't say that. Wada, sorry. Wada, 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 no, there were no lyrics. There never was sorry. lyrics. If you think there's lyrics, you're completely wrong. Jim Johnston himself said no lyrics, James. So you can go fuck yourself. James, James Johnson John himself. Dude, I yeah, think it's Jim pretty Jimothy sweet. Jimothy Johnson. Pretty sweet that <laughs> little Jimmy over here worked jaw. Like that's cool. Like work, <laughs> work is, is still what's real. The work? work is what's still the, real. Dude, what's you worked yourself into no lyrics. James, James, you worked yourself into a shoot, brother. Because you guys got you guys got Johnsoned. <laughs> Jim the cock <laughs> That guy's a famous worker, dude. The song goes, everybody on the ground, db db dooly da. Wada 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 roo, wada 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 roo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the lyrics. It's one of the alleged lyrics I saw somebody says is Will Smith smoking crack. <laughs> I don't think that's part of it either. Yeah, that's though. probably that's not right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Intro, sweet video, no lyrics to the song, but a great song nonetheless. A lot of pyro. Uh, Ovaltron on the right, Ovaltron, which is the right nice. version of yeah, the Ovaltron. Yeah, yeah. I agree. That's sexy, uh, man. I love this yeah. arena. They are in Las Vegas for this show, by the way. This crowd is red hot, too, man. There's like 100 million signs out there. They're going yeah. crazy. So I'm going to there's 15K in this arena. I don't know if that's true or not. I, f I it felt like more, it. but yeah, I could believe that. Yeah. I mean, I guess they Did were guys, selling out everything at the time. Yeah. Did you catch the tagline of this? This is the no. hottest action adventure series on network television. <laughs> oh, yeah. Michael Cole says that, right? Yes. <laughs> He's like, yeah, like what? <laughs> action adventure what are series. Are you ready for the hottest action adventure series on network television? No, the, I'm not. Well, after this, catch Judge oh, Judy. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Judge Joe Brown next. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shasta McNasty coming up. Yeah. So the glass Shasta shatters McNasty. really early oh, in the show. Yeah. The show begins and ends with the glass shattering. Before the glass shatter, they they go to a sign in the crowd. You know, they're doing the big pan they, to and to really show who's over on this show the camera zooms in very far away on a double hardcore holly sign <laughs> wow yeah that is crazy they're really yeah. over i guess that one guy there. i guess so but yes then the glass shatters here comes oh stone cold that oh, place explodes yeah. into a million pieces they are michael so cole happy for this. to put over stone cold says he is sports entertainment personified He's the hottest oh, action adventure star <laughs> on network TV. Him and Indiana Jones, neck and neck. Very rare Stone Cold fit here. Blue fire hat, black George Venom shirt. Yeah, this was no weird. knee braces. <laughs> no knee braces. No knee braces. He said, yeah. "You took out to my knee, son." He got a knee braces. Yeah. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> Triple I H had the knee brace, but yeah, Stone Cold yeah, no knee did. braces. Yeah, yeah. For most of the show, Stone Triple Cold H. Hat, right? Yeah. Where's oh, the, the hat, hat I do remember. Yeah, I remember the, the hat. Room? I don't remember what it was. called. Called though they all had weird names. Venom fucker three. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck George Bush Venom style. That's what it was called. <laughs> so, which uh, speaking of weird outfits, during uh, we'll get to it. But during the show, Triple H, they show him backstage like in gear. But like he has, I'm like, what is wrong here? He has no fucking like wrist tape or elbow pads on. I'm like, oh, this looks really weird. No and elbow the knee pads, brace. no wrist tape, knee yeah. pads, and no tan. <laughs> yeah, yes. really weird. Triple H. So fucking weird. But yeah, so Austin's in the ring here. He says, Triple H, just because I got DQ'd on Raw doesn't mean that you're through with all this dog goat. Oh no, not by a long shot. <laughs> just, and that's all I got to tell you about that. <laughs> yeah, he does that like four times. <laughs> eh, eh, Austin 316 <laughs> says, and that's all I got to say about that. 
<laughs> cat, every catchphrase yeah, he ever, all. ever said in four minutes, man. In four <laughs> minutes. Legendary. He says Earl Hebner got his lights punched out because he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Uh, he says, we can do things the easy way or the hard way. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, you can give me my rematch for the WWF Championship and a no, hold, no holds barred match. You little bastard. No whores match. <laughs> <laughs> you leave your whores back there. <laughs> He's talking about the police, of course. You want a whores in this match? I say, eh, eh. <laughs> He says, and and that's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> Austin 316 says, no horse for me. <laughs> eh, eh. <laughs> that ain't enough horse. Not by a long shot. <laughs> and that's the bottom line. <laughs> He says, if you want to do things the hard way, which well, just fine and dandy with Stone Cold Steve Austin, you'll be carted out as better in a body bag, and that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> he does. He also said, at one point, I think it's before this, he said, something like, as long as you're still walking, you're in my little crosshairs, you little bastard. He makes he, he makes the crosshairs cross- with his fingers, too. <laughs> These are crosshairs, if you're not that sure. He was trying to get that over real hard. He didn't do that little, for everyone. Little crossed index fingers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I got to say about yeah, it. And then one, two, is this on? The lights go song. crazy, and God, I love this entrance so much. Hit me with that Triple yeah, H, Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah, Little Jimmy. Jimmy. There's no, I know there's no lyrics to <laughs> this theme song, Jimmy. <laughs> there's no lyrics <laughs> on it. <laughs> Yo, James, hit me with a little no lyrics, <laughs> dude. Triple H comes out with the baby man glasses and China <laughs> and the belt, and just... dude. <laughs> Big leather jacket, <laughs> very little glasses. <laughs> so going, with like, your little glasses out there. Eh, eh, <laughs> you make me sick. <laughs> you and your horse. <laughs> Security's looking around with them. <laughs> it's a bunch of cops. So Triple H is trying to come out with a bunch of cops. Uh, Triple H looking just absurd. <laughs> trying to look wonderful. Good for her. <laughs> Dude, these little glasses are, they're like shaded, they're, they're like terminated. maroon. Red yeah, terminated. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, are these on? <laughs> <laughs> Triple H immediately says, you ain't getting Jack, Jack. <laughs> Dude, he just put the bass in his voice from a couple years ago. He used to talk like a little kid. Now he's this like, whole talk. Yeah, this whole show consists of Triple H wanting people to kiss his ass and also wanting to see everybody's nuts. (laughs) (laughs) All all show. He said, on Monday, you blew your opportunity and now you can kiss my ass. (laughs) Okay. He he got the crazy line later. I don't know what the rock or something where he says that. He said, I know know you're like, I got got that. (laughs) Trust me, I fucking wrote that. I'm glad I didn't write that down. So I'm glad you wrote that down. Uh, Triple H says he's been ordered to defend the WWF title tonight and immediately the crowd starts chanting asshole <laughs> and Austin hits another classic line oh no you, how good you're hearing it son <laughs> but you got 15,000 people calling you an asshole <laughs> Triple H says I'm gonna defend the WWF title against a main event competitor of my choice but it ain't gonna be you That would be, and that will be the closest thing you get to the title again and that and he looks directly at the camera is the name of the game <laughs> No! He dropped it! He dropped the catchphrase! And Stone Cold gets on the mic, he says, well, that's cold. Stone Cold. You can hear a pin drop in that statement, and that is the name of the game. They actually, you can actually hear the headphones calling over to Michael Cole. Hey, hey, write down, we're changing the title tonight. We're changing the title tonight. (laughs) (laughs) Call it on the fly. It was actually Vince saying it. I'm I'm taking that fucking belt off, son of a bitch. Just shut up! (laughs) We're changing the belt tonight! And that is the name of the game. Oh my god! <laughs> Stone Triple Cold H and basically, he said that is the name of the game. Stone Cold said, I'm gonna let you try that <laughs> one more time, you son of a bitch. <laughs> he said, you better grow some beady little eyes in the back of your head, cause Austin 316 will be so far up your ass, you won't be able to walk again. <laughs> So Triple H leaves. <laughs> Go throw some eyes, son. He he does. Get some eyes for Wait, the blue what? glasses. What? You need glasses, eyes? You need yeah, eyes, eyes, son? I'm gonna fuck you in the ass. Vince some flipping eyes, out I'm in the back. I'm gonna fuck you in the ass, son. You want to use my eyes? I'm gonna fuck your ass, son. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck your ass, and that's all I got to say about that. Austin 316 says, I'm gonna tame that ass. <laughs> 
What? Vince, Vince writing down quickly the main event. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking, I'm going over. I'm going over. <laughs> yeah. Stephanie, you're not fucking this guy. He's so lame. <laughs> Vince calling Triple H lame. <laughs> yeah, great. So that was that was an hour of that opening segment. <laughs> so on Raw, there's a sick pack challenge for the number one contendership for the WWE title, title here. <laughs> the refs are getting bumped every two seconds. A new Dude. ref comes in, bump. A new ref comes in, bump. Earl Hebner it's eventually says, "Fuck it, <laughs> I'm not getting in the ring." <laughs> it's all the faces and the heels all just whooping the referee's asses. Yeah. This is one of the best angles of all time. The refs yeah. literally started to strike because they wouldn't stop bumping the refs in the match. Please <laughs> stop whooping our ass. We can't take it anymore. So we have Shane McMahon come out. He's facing Joey Abs tonight. Shane is here in deathmatch gear. He's wearing a WWF like shirt with blue UFOs on. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that's awesome. So Cindy Margolis is also here. She's ringside. Yeah. God bless her. She She's is. the queen of the internet. Yeah, Tony. Yeah, not a big. <laughs> <laughs> not, okay, super not a Cindy Margolis guy. All right, I thought what? you were, no, in the, wait, you were whoa, on the internet whoa. back then. You just said Tony. That's it. I, don't yeah, know. I figured you would this. give us some insight got, on Cindy Margolis. I mean, she took over Sunny as the most downloaded girl on mm, the internet. How do you feel so about that? I, I mean, Cindy Margolis. Yeah, Cindy Margolis dot com. How can you figure about that? That's yeah, true. so Cindy Margolis. <laughs> Has a new role on a UPN show. Apparently, it's like Slurms McKenzie's new show or something. Shasta McNasty. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> Congrats on that. Slurms McKenzie. <laughs> Dane is here to cut a promo, of course. He's as the rock. <laughs> he can't fucking Rodney Rodney know what Shane is cooking. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Rodney, Joey Abs, Pete Gas. We go back a long time. This isn't about friendship. This is about. My sister Stephanie. <laughs> Joey Abs, we're going to settle this right now. And then the Mean Street Posse music hits, which is awesome, by the way. Yeah, it is. Uh, and they come out with Terry? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I was confused by this also. I feel like Terry was in every stable in this yes, era. Yes, she was. I she, don't was even know. she was with the Hardys, with the Dudleys, <laughs> Edge of Christian. She was with everybody. If they had now a new act they wanted to get him over, they just put Terry with him. Yeah, God bless yeah, her, Yeah, pretty too. much. Yeah, so Joey Abs versus Shane McMahon. Joey Abs called Stephanie McMahon a tramp. Whoa. And Shane said, that just doesn't work for me, brother. <laughs> I don't want to know those. But even, like a year later, the entire crowd is just chanting, slut, slut, <laughs> slut. <laughs> She's not a slut just yet until she breaks Tess heart very soon. That's soon. Yeah, that's pretty soon. Have we watched that show? No, we haven't done that one yet. The okay, wedding? Keep no, that, we keep that, write that down. Mean Street Posse comes down to the ramp. They come down the ramp right beside the ring. The camera work on the shot is incredible. It's actually. awesome. Yeah, it like turns right into it. So the camera like pans over to the ring. And you see Shane, and he's like, I'm going to fucking jump. <laughs> and he goes back off the ropes and does the fucking OMG taker dive. Yes, over it's exactly the what it was. Yeah, I wrote big taker dive by Shane. Dude, it was fucking wow. It was, clean. It was so some, good. He got distance. Like, I feel like he dove, and they were still at the bottom of the ramp. Like, I feel like he got a lot of distance. This is, like, it. one of the best shots I've seen in this movie. I'm talking ever, dude. He yeah. dives over the ropes, perfect catch, goes straight into like a Thez press almost. Yeah, he starts that whooping was so all their asses. Crazy. Too. <laughs> yeah, that was super sick. Shout out to Shane. Shane does a couple of crazy shit in this match. He's like, I miss. There's also no referee, but the bell rang. So the timekeeper's just going into business. Oh, yeah, they're like, off. oh, no one can break it up because there's no referee. We don't have any yeah. fucking refs. They have Stephanie and Test watching backstage on a monitor while. Mean Street Posse is whooping Shane's ass collectively. <laughs> yeah, so Gerald Briscoe comes in as the ref since there's no damn refs. He just put yeah. on a ref shirt and came in, and now he's the ref. So then Gerald Briscoe just starts fucking fighting with Pete Gas. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is unfucking believable. This spot here. So Joey Abs eventually tells the Posse to get out of the ring. Gerald Briscoe comes out. Shane gets a two count on him because Pete Gas pulls Gerald Briscoe out of the ring, and they start fighting. But it's not like he just bumps the ref and that's it. Like These are brawling! Pete Gas whoops his ass the whole rest of this match. <laughs> it's just Pete Gas stomping out Gerald Briscoe yeah. on the floor. Like, no one's even... They're not shooting it. Like, no one's even seeing this. <laughs> Pete Gas is just stomping a mud hole on Gerald Briscoe for 10 minutes. Dude, this is probably one of my favorite matches ever. I love this whole this whole great. thing. Yeah. Pat Patterson comes down with a ref shirt next and, and khaki shorts. shorts. Yeah. <laughs> he comes down with khaki shorts and a ref shirt and then Rodney starts kicking Pat Patterson's ass. Yes. Yeah, he <laughs> Rodney pulls Matt Patterson out and just dumps him into the crowd. <laughs> what the fuck? And then Shane said, I'm going to fucking jump. <laughs> Shane goes to the Dude. top rope here. What? He does a spiral what? tap. Dude, he does a spiral I, tap. It was, yeah, it was like an inverted. Tap. It, 
Like, what it the was fuck? crazy. He invented the spiral tab right here. Like I don't even know fuck? if he meant to like. I don't know. He just went. Like I he don't. Lee Johnson to himself. <laughs> <Dude. And laughs> this was inspired it clean. Lee Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. This Dude, was insane. Yeah, it was awesome. So yeah, he he fucking he also killed Joey Abs with a spear. Which was oh, also big fucking nasty spear. looking. Shane's a big spear guy, yeah. What did Pat the Patterson, move even look like? It was like he did a front flip, and then, because he I, I started like the closest, facing the, the ring. The closest thing to it is the spiral tab. Yeah, but he didn't spin. He did like a... He did like a... Like a sky know. twister? I thought but it was like a sky forward? twister, but yeah, but he sky twister's facing back. Yeah. What the fuck the was this? Shane invented Shane a move. Shane invented high top. flying, and no one's been able to do it since. <laughs> Shane almost kills himself on the spiral tab, or whatever it is. And then what happens, James? Sean Stasiak is here <laughs> as the new ref. Dude, do it now, I do it now, I do swore it now. I was seeing things. I was like, who is? I was like, no, don't tell me that's meat in the WWF. If you Dude, will, that, that is me. <laughs> that was meat. I had to look back at Why? the calendar. I was like, is this what the what's going on Why here? Why the fuck is meat involved in this? From the WWF! He's the ref! <laughs> That's crazy. He, he gets in and counts three, and Shane wins. Shane wins by way of meat from the WWF! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. And then King on commentary goes, where did all these referee shirts come from? <laughs> <laughs> well, the refs aren't using them. Someone's got to use them. This might be the best match ever. <laughs> this show was awesome. This is definitely worth going out of your way to see. Just yeah. with Shane, Shane dying, the referee's getting stomped out for the whole match. This was great. Hell, yeah, Stephanie and Tess come out afterwards, and Stephanie low blows Joey Abs. Must have been cold. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. must have been. She was very excited <laughs> to be in this angle. Yeah. Did we meat. also mention that Cindy Margolis is here? Cindy Tony. Margolis in the crowd. Tony. Tony, what's we, up with Cindy Margolis? How you doing? CindyMargolis.com. Check it out. It's still yeah. available. What's she got on there? Check. Wait, is it still available? Yeah, you can still check it out. Wait, what? Go to CindyMargolis.com. It's still on How do you spell that? Wait, it really is. Cindy, M-A-R-G-O-L-I-S. Cindy Margolis. Hey, baby. What's going on Gallery here? Gallery images. What's going on New here? New opportunities? Yeah, I hear that. Wait, this is for truth. This is like still existing. How much do you think she's paying to host this? Where are the pictures? Here we go. There's a whole gallery, bro. I'm trying to skip back, like, super far. I want to see, like, her on Damn, Nitro. Bro, she is sexy as hell, though. Wow. Yo, how, like, are these, like, like, how old are these pictures? I mean, they gotta be. I mean, she looks like she did in, on, in 1999. Yeah, this was Yo, probably some the same website from back in the day. They probably never updated it. Celebrity cooking showdown? Yeah, she's kind of like a mix between Sonny and Trish Stratus. This is I was just about to say, crazy. she looks just like Trish Stratus in some of these. Wow, Cindy Marvel. her with is, Carrot man. Top. There's a picture of her and Carrot Top here. That's me. Actually, you can become a cyber buddy. She kind of looks like Stacy Keebler in the face here. What the fuck is this? She's like a mix of <laughs> she's like the mix of Stacy and Trish. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she was the most downloaded, baby. I guess so. Fucking shout out Cindy Margolis. Who's man. the artist of the week? Oh, I have to log in to see that shit. You got a Cindy Margolis account? <laughs> I have to log in to see. <laughs> I have to log in to see the Cindy store. I got it by uh, <laughs> logging in. <laughs> All right, let me know. I got it. <laughs> Good brother. My man. It's uh, Stone Cold 23 at AOL.com. Is there a Sydney Margolis fucking shooting game? With <laughs> shooting gallery? Sydney Margolis? And that's all yeah. I got to say about that. <laughs> Ivory cuts a promo. She comes out, camera zooms in on a sign in the crowd. Meow. You can see right below the sign, there's a teenager in the crowd. He starts doing a blowjob gesture. <laughs> <laughs> is it the eye shower with ivory sign? Yeah, I think so. I think that was actually the sign <laughs> the, right below the blowjob guy. She says, uh, the best thing about being women's champion is being able to meet important people. And Jerry Lawler says, yeah, like me. <laughs> <laughs> King says that she is the most downloaded star in the history of the internet. Tony? That's true. That's true. Ivory right. gets in the ring and says, go to www.cindymargolas.com. <laughs> yeah, I did. did. Go visit it right now. Go right <laughs> you should now. go check it out. <laughs> Ivory says, Cindy Margolis, get, come on down here. <laughs> she did, She said no. Yeah, she didn't want to come in at first. She said, I don't want to come in. She said, get your and ass then, in the ring. <laughs> yeah, you better fucking get in here. She gets in the ring. Uh, Ivory puts her over. She says, uh, suddenly Susan is on this Monday. I guess that was something else she was on. I don't think she was on any of these shows. Because and then Shasta McNasty no. <laughs> debuts on UPN. Ivory says, do one of those bikini poses when she gets in yeah, the get ring. Yeah, get down. Get down and fucking do said, something. Maybe I don't want to do that. <laughs> do, it. Yeah. do it now. Yeah, why don't get you get down. the fuck down there, though, for me? This was real weird. <laughs> yeah, it was. She, like, the man she lays down and strike a pose, and she says, you better lay down before I lay you down, bitch. She <laughs> says that. I didn't make that up. 
<laughs> I so shouldn't have come here. <laughs> Cindy Margolis. I didn't. I didn't know where this was going. I was like, oh, she's just gonna whoop no, Cindy Margolis. Yeah, ass. that's what I thought. Yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, that's cool. I guess get some heat on the champion. So Cindy Margolis lays down, starts posing. And then all of a sudden, Jeff out of Jarrett, no, out of fucking <laughs> nowhere, like, makes the a fastest beeline. this man has Dude, ever ran is, in his life. He's I had sprints. no fucking idea what was going on here. Jarrett, in full gear with the glasses on, gets in the ring and just puts any <laughs> my goals in the figure four, <laughs> <laughs> just out of nowhere. And she's what the fuck? So she's she's in the figure four. She's selling as best as she can sell. Camera tight shot on her. Got to get it for the tabloids or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Jarrett lets go of it. Ivory high fives Jarrett, and then Jarrett bumps Ivory and puts her in the figure four. As well. <laughs> The crowd is very confused. <laughs> so am I. I <laughs> which, was so because I guess confused. Jarrett's feuding with China, which means he has to beat up all the women. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much exactly what yeah. it says. Jeff Jarrett trying to send a message to China that he is not afraid to lock the figure four in on any woman. <laughs> ever. Not even Cindy Margolis dot com. So not even Cindy Margolis. <laughs> So we go backstage. Triple H is asked by Lillian about a match later tonight, which would be the main event. He's wondering, who is, uh, who are you facing? And in the background, you just hear, it's sexual, baby. <laughs> right now, <laughs> man, it you. is playing forever. And Triple H standing here with nothing on his arms, looking like a real little weirdo. Yeah, this is, a, this is actually the weirdest he looked all night, actually. Cursed. Right here. Yeah. Because he's, it, it, God, this angle on him is just real fucked up. Yeah, he looks small, like it's weird, I don't know what's going on here. So yeah, if you can believe it, sexual chocolate actually leads into Mark Henry versus Steve Blackman. <laughs> 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 Triple H says, Austin, better watch out, bitch. A lot of bitch on this show so far. He says, you better watch out, and it's, he's not going to wrestle Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that's yeah, he's the a, name he's a, you, of the game. Hey, how about you put some eyes behind your head, and I'll fuck you. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Jarrett came in, <laughs> put Lily and Garcia in the figure four. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't do that. Really. Every woman on the screen is just in constant fear of Stephanie Jeff Jarrett. in the middle of the first match, just up in the figure four. Oh, you just hear <laughs> fucking the laying down tonight. Bree woo, bree woo. <laughs> <laughs> so but Mark yeah, Henry versus Steve Black. Yeah. Sexual chocolate in the blue and the, the silver gear. Mark Henry did not come to the ring for his tag match last week on Raw against <laughs> D'Lo Brown and Val Venus. Why? Why not? Well, GTV has the answer for that, as we have GTV footage of Mark Henry backstage with the hose. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Blackman sees the GTV footage it's, on the monitor. It's, it's, it's Mark Henry in like a small room with two hoes dancing on a table and also the Godfather dancing. <laughs> the hoes are getting it. The hoes yeah, are getting the it. The Godfather Throwing was money. getting at it too, bro. That's pretty sick. Steve Blackman, Steve Blackman never wanted hoes. He just wants he want, the wins. No hoes, he wants to, only wins. Yeah. He wants to wrestle, so he's here to wrestle Mark Henry because he abandoned him, and the title's on the line as well because fuck you, that's why. Val Venus comes out into this match and low blows Blackman with the kendo stick. Dude. Cracks the fuck out of his head. He, like, he low blows him. Like, so Blackman's on the apron. He sticks him in the groin with the cane, and then Blackman, like, kneels down, and you can see he hesitates because he's like, I'm going to fuck this hesitate, guy up yeah. if I hit him with this. And he said, I'm going to fuck this guy up. <laughs> and then he hits <laughs> him with the liberties, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to bash this. He smashes it so hard in the back of his head. By the way, your referee, Tony Gurria, <laughs> for this matchup. D'Lo then hits the ring, and wow, he looks really good here. Yeah. Oh, Mark Henry got the win off that, by the way, off the low blow and the headshot. Yeah. And then uh, D'Lo, I think. This was setting up for, is this, what? Unforgiven. Unforgiven. Unforgiven, okay. So D'Lo hits the ring, and then he hits the low down on Mark Henry. Sky high. S sky, sky high, high my bad. I always make that same mistake. But it got a big pop, though, and it looked really fucking good. Yeah, D'Lo looked great here. I was going to say, now that you mentioned it, sky high should be the one he jumps off the top rope. I agree. Yeah, no, sense. you're right. It's D'Lo's fault, but whatever. So we go backstage. Jeff Jarrett sees Cindy Margolis on a gurney. She's on a stretcher, being attended to. And Jarrett says, this is a message from him to China <laughs> by... Way of my internet. <laughs> <laughs> Download <laughs> that. <laughs> By my internet. Why don't you download that? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Uh, that'd be like if Jeff Jarrett just said, and now it's time to slap yeah, nuts. No, just, <laughs> and then Tesco, hey, <laughs> you're hurting her. <laughs> 
Andrew and Dustin Punisher start, the Martin? They just start fighting. Andrew the Martin the Punisher just comes up and they start fighting next to the ambulance and it goes to commercial. Tess on the show a lot. Yeah. Jeff Jarrett's on the show a lot. Dude, yeah. yeah well, he's, he, they go to commercial, they come back, it's Terry Taylor interviewing Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> you would think Jeff Jarrett's like the main event of Unforgiven. Jarrett says, <laughs> he tells Terry Taylor to shut up. And he says, blondes are a dime a dozen and another dumb blonde is Tess. <laughs> 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 he said, when I'm done with him, his bride won't even recognize his ass. Oh, shit. Terry Taylor said, okay. Yeah, true. I'm blonde. You're blonde too, Jarrett. <laughs> <laughs> Curtis Hughes versus Ken Shamrock. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, this was supposed to be Chris Jericho versus Ken Shamrock, but Jericho said, you will face Curtis Hughes instead. Did you like the entrance, by the way? Jericho does his entrance for Curtis Hughes' match. They show Jericho, he's like all the way at the top of the stage, and they slowly pan back, and just Curtis Hughes' face shows up. <laughs> Yo. Dude, the closest yeah. you could ever be to his it's face. It's horrifying. <laughs> they showed uh, footage that Jericho did. Last Monday. The Y2 Jail last week on Raw, <laughs> which, is, which cage. is a new match that he created. <laughs> it's a cage or match. Or as some well, say, Edge. Edge created it. Edge invented the Y2 Jail. Say. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> the Triple H created it. He was facing a shoot fighter named Gotch Gracie. <laughs> or so so Shamrock thought. It was yeah, actually Curtis Hughes. Yeah, Shamrock was like, he was super into this idea, and he got tricked to go into the Y2 Jail in this match. Yeah. And then I want to face a Curtis Gracie. Hughes. Sounds yeah. great. He didn't even do any research or anything. So <laughs> he just believed it. It sounded good enough. I would have believed it too. Crazy just whooped his ass. So Jericho says Shamrock said backstage to him personally that Jericho is actually the world's most dangerous fan. Hey, he licked my boots too. He also said, I'm much tougher than him. And he got on his hands and knees and begged me to never, ever face him again. <laughs> so Jericho introduced a special ref for tonight's match, El Dopo. El Dopo! <laughs> Comes out with a mask on because he's El Dopo. Shamrock in Shamrock gear. <laughs> he's oh great. God, he is gigantic, dude. Yeah, yeah, sadly, he's not the world's most dangerous man here. Jericho says on commentary that we grow up. We, he he grew up watching El Dopo, and Michael Cole says El Dopo looks like El Gordo to me. <laughs> oh, he does that a lot tonight, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Fat bitch. So this feels like a WWE 2K match where they get stuck on the outside of the ring and they just stay out there. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. He Shamrock like double legs Curtis Hughes like immediately. Hughes bumps Shamrock to the floor. Uh, Jericho says he found Curtis Hughes on the streets of Harlem beating up people. And then Jericho leaves commentary. Shamrock chases him around the ring, gets cut off by Hughes. They're putting the boots to him. El Dopo's not calling for the bell. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Shamrock sun fl sunset flips Hughes, gets him in the leg lock. Hughes grabs the ropes. And then the referee calls for the bell. And El Dopo says, and I quote, <laughs> Disqualificata, El Senior Shamrock. <laughs> Disqualificata. <laughs> you can immediately tell this, dude. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's, not, it's not like it's like one of the most famous fucking wrestling voices of all time. <laughs> Shockingly, this turns out to be Howard Finkel. <laughs> Disqualificata, <laughs> El Senior Shamrock. <laughs> That's awesome. Finkel's uh, a worker, man. So Shamrock unmasks him, and then Finkel spends the next three minutes trying to dry fuck Shamrock's legs. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. <laughs> what the fuck was he going? What was going on here? Shamrock even get the fuck away from the crowd. Just like I am fucking whatever. I don't know. <laughs> like I, I think they're supposed to pop for Shamrock doing that, but they just. They don't. They yeah, it's not. weird. Very confused. So we go backstage. Lillian Garcia interviews Mankind about the Wee! Royal Rumble tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Just yells that and I'm like, Wee! Mankind almost gets Lillian with the it doesn't matter gimmick. Yeah. Because I could have nah, got you. Almost got uh, you. Mankind says that the rock is like the front of the car and he is like the back of the car. He says, I am the rear end of the car. I'm the people's rear end. People's rear end. Yeah. And Lillian says, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Lillian says, Triple H could pick you for the WF title match. And my Mankind says, whoa, that'd be cool. <laughs> but it'd be awesome. cooler if he picked the rock so I could stand at ringside and work on material. Know your role. Hey kid, shut your mouth. He's supposed to heckle the crowd. He doesn't even care about the title. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's one of your top guys says, you know what? I don't want a title shot, actually. <laughs> That's like too much work. The WF Boot of the Week brought to you by Lux. Tough Ooh. boots built for the city. That's Lux. Guess, <laughs> guess what it is? All the referees are laid out on Monday. <laughs> Crazy. Everyone beating up the referees. And Earl Hebner doesn't want to get beat up. Sean Kingley. So we have the Royal Rumble Rules match. 
Yes. This is literally a five-man Royal Rumble. <laughs> 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 like, down to the timer and the hair. Yeah. <laughs> like, everything is just a rumble. So The Rock comes out, gets a massive pop. Crowd is did you, just super over this dude. Did you understand what the winner of this gets? Because they explained it, and I have no fucking idea what's going on here. So the winner of this gets to start against Triple H in the six-pack challenge at Unforgiven. And what is the advantage of that? You get to... Fight Triple H. But they all do. But you get to start against Triple H. Isn't that bad? Wouldn't you want to be last? Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, I uh, maybe they explained it, but it sounds like, yeah, I feel like I heard that. They're like, it's like a, it's a gauntlet match, but it's also tag team rules. Um, yeah, this sounded fucked. I don't even know. If, do they do it? Does this match even happen? <laughs> I don't even remember this. He's you not even the champion anymore. Wait, what the fuck? I gotta look at Let's see. Unforgiven 99. Did they just run Vince and Triple H back the again? The main event. What? Here, spoilers. Sorry, everybody. Wait, no. Triple H is in that match. As and the champion? so is the British Bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> the Rottweilers? <laughs> <Rob-wise? laughs> Triple H beat Big Show, Bulldog, Kane, Mankind, and The Rock. And a six-pack challenge with Austin as the ref. What happened to Undertaker? Oh, is that when Undertaker leaves? Is I Taker gone know. by that point? Doesn't he, like, walk out or something? Not walk out, but, like, he has to find a smile or something. Takes a symbol and goes home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, yeah, I think that's what happened. So, yeah. Okay. So, Rock's out here. Big pop, as James Huge, said. You man. smell. Yeah, it's just so over. And Rock has a tremendous promo here. <laughs> he says, you jabronis can go to the Tropicana Hotel down the road. You find the best slot machine you can find. It has a Brahma Bowl on the front. <laughs> and it says, the people's slot machine. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsor slot machine at the Tropicana Hotel. That's awesome. <laughs> and then one of you jabronis pull the handle. And there it is. One Brahma Bull, two Brahma Bull, three Brahma Bulls. You jabronis hit the jackpot. <laughs> this might be Shane saying this too. Yeah, good. Under- and you're all, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're all celebrating. You're all celebrating. Undertaker with his Mickey Mouse tattoos and his 33 pound head, <laughs> jumping around screaming like a girl. <laughs> then Kane. <laughs> Kane running around doing cartwheels, scaring everybody in the casino. I won. I won. Let's party. <laughs> and then the, the biggest goof of them all, the big slow, scaring all the Rocks fans. It's like a 15 minute roast session. Was this the first time he did big slow? I don't know. It got big pop though. King said yeah, big slow. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and then the door opens and the rock arrives as the rock looks at all four of you jabronis tears rolling down your cheek and piss rolling down your leg the rock is gonna gather up all the gold coins you guys won he's gonna shine them up turn them sons bitches sideways and stick them straight up your candy ass ah! <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part was the rock goes if you smell it out, and then all of a sudden it goes well, <laughs> yeah, fuck, fuck you <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, so we they get also to Triple H, Triple H in China backstage. Triple H still no wrist tape, but he has elbow pads on now. So the match starts off The Rock versus Big Show. This goes super quick, it feels like. Yeah, like they immediately just, I don't know what the time, I don't, I have a feeling, James, that they didn't actually have a timer. I don't either, because I was like, damn, okay, like no one's even getting any time in the ring. Two punches, <laughs> timer starts. Two punches, Like no one even tried starts. to, neither of them tried to eliminate one another, and yeah, it was just going. Mankind was out next. I did the, the buzzer also sounded like a weird one to me. Like it wasn't yeah. the right one. I don't know what it was. It was also an SCU 316 sign. <laughs> SCU. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, Mankind out next. Rock and Mankind work together. Kane's out. Undertaker's out. I won. <laughs> Taker what is real fuck? fucked at this point. This is probably why he walks out. Yeah, so I gotta look this up real quick, but Undertaker comes out here with Asa Timbale music, the ministry fucking music, uh, but he's not ministry Taker. This is like some weird like a pre-American badass taker or something here. It was the Unholy Alliance, right? Yes. Yes. That's exactly what it was. Was uh, this how far was this from that promo we got with the big show where they I think desert. it was the week, it was either that week, because I think that's a Raw promo, and I think it might have been that Monday, <laughs> because 
it says on the September 23rd episode of SmackDown, which is, I guess, a week after this, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. McMahon threatens that he would remove Taker from the Unforgiven main event if he refused to participate in a casket match against Triple H. And then Undertaker uh, left <laughs> and walked out, and he went on a hiatus until 2000. Yeah. Well, he also had a torn pectoral muscle, and it took him out for eight months. So, yeah, he's gone. He's got a torn pec, and, uh, and Vince is like, you're still going to work, pal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you better work. I need to get this belt off on her and me. <laughs> so Taker comes out with the ministry music. But What's he's he in wearing jeans, here? a black yeah. label society shirt tucked into his jeans, <laughs> sunglasses like Jeff Jarrett. A bandana. And a bandana. Yeah, bandana. It looks like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he comes in really does. commentary, but he's still talking like he's still ministry. He's taker. still doing the dead. He's still doing the dead man voice. <laughs> yeah. This there is really going. fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they should never ever have Undertaker on commentary ever. Actually. Oh my god. Yeah. This is really rough, man. It's so funny because he's still doing Evil Taker, but it's trying to cheer on like Big Show. Kane. Show, do yeah. it. <laughs> oh, show. <laughs> Kane gets eliminated by Mankind and The Rock. The Rock then eliminates Mankind. Owned. Big Show then hits a choke slam on The Rock. And then yes. Taker says, what did Taker? He said, that's why he is the phony, tough, and crazy brave. What does that mean, man? That, that's for True City. <laughs> that, at this point, I wrote down, never, ever, ever put this guy on commentary ever again. Like, so, any mystique he had was his fucking well, he gone. already looked like a smacked ass. So it wasn't helping. <laughs> he fucking sounded ridiculous. Show throws Rock over the top. Rock hangs on. Taker goes, oh, show. <laughs> and then Taker gets up from the table and says, if you want something done, you got to do it yourself. And that is why I'm the power. What? Yeah. <laughs> You're the power. Yeah, you fucking heard of me. Gets up and leaves. I never do that shit again. <laughs> Taker, yeah, Taker gets in the ring and dumps both Rock and Show over the top rope. And that's it. Yeah, that's the match. Because he was in the match. So He was. So... He, yeah, so they definitely knew he was hurt, and then they he left. Bump. Yeah, it yes. bump. Yeah. So Taker comes in, he tosses him out, and then Big Show, after he gets tossed out of the ring... Son of a bitch! <laughs> he up and overs into the Dude, ring. Dude, oh my god, that's the scariest thing I've ever seen. If I was Taker, I would have fucking pissed my little pants. Show, says, son of, show yells, son of a bitch, and then leaps over the top rope. Like, not steps over, he jumps over yeah, the top yeah. rope. That's actually, like, insane. Like, that's, like, I don't even know how he did and that. the only way to make it any better is to bring the boys out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Midian and Viscera hit the ring. <laughs> the boys. That's an awesome group of guys right there. <laughs> Vis Viscera with the Naruto headband on. <laughs> What's going that on here? contacts on, too. <laughs> yeah. He's Rock got Byakugan in the... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's up this guy? Midi, the Vince were like, happy I could God and did Aeon Destruction to him? So no, sick. dude. He didn't do that move. He looked at him like he was going for it. <laughs> didn't do that move then. <laughs> didn't do that move and it wasn't called that. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Midian and Viscera both fucking bowing up to Big Show. Rock gets in the ring, brains them both with a chair. Then Big Show super kicks the chair into the Rock's face, which looked pretty cool. Yeah. Taker then tells Midian and Viscera to finish the Rock off. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Viscera said, okay. <laughs> Viscera hits his patented move. The Big yeah, Splash. No. <laughs> the big yeah, Splash. I'm finish him right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Show Big Splash awesome. on the Rock. <laughs> and then the Unholy Alliance that, theme you hits. The peak, you were watching the Peacock Peak Prize. Yeah, I was what were the, you watching on? Yeah, I was watching the... The network, the, the, the bruvs are getting the uh, the Peacock now too, fucker. Yeah, I was daily motion. Out of Everybody, yeah. <laughs> hey, by the way, so, shout out to the bruvs. Sorry that here that you guys are getting cocked. Dude. Yeah, oh, have fun uh, with that. Sorry about that, boys. <laughs> All right, so now that we're past Cursed Undertaker <laughs> Rumble match. <laughs> that was a fever dream, really. <laughs> Our show really is, actually. Yeah. It, it's in a, like a weird position for the WWF where I feel like the next couple episodes, it changes completely. I was gonna say, I feel like the whole company is like, because Austin gets hit by a car soon, has not he? Like, <laughs> yeah, like a bunch of shit changes real quick. Yeah. SmackDown is brought to you by Ooh. a Castrol GTX Drive Hard, Ooh. and by Burger King, and Ooh. by Milky Way. <laughs> Milk it. Milk it. <laughs> <laughs> this one said, okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> so we have Hardcore Holly and Crash Holly. 
versus Harko China. Harko Holly's <laughs> <laughs> well, gimmick is actually the same exact as Jeff Jarrett's. Yeah, he it actually is. Does not like women. He says, "Okay, China, your time is up." <laughs> <laughs> You have plenty of time to find a tag team partner. I don't want to so be come out here Holly anymore. And let me do to you what I should have done last week. And then he, it's, I don't understand what happened here. <laughs> oh, His promo fun. goes, he says, now don't get me wrong. And I'm like, oh, well, Holly's going to put her over. Now don't get me wrong. The wrestling ring is no place for a woman. <laughs> what? <the fuck>? <laughs> <laughs> Cuts him off immediately. All right, yeah, then his, her music hits. <laughs> China's music hits. Michael Cole says, "Here comes China to the ring." So this match goes a little bit. China low blows both of them. They she does not have a partner. Them, neither of them seem to care about being low blowed. So no, the it. referee. Uh, who's the ref here? Dave Hebner. Dave Hebner. He's You're a road agent. Dab now. ref, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Gunn he comes off. down to the ring for some reason. Fired up, Billy Gunn too. He gets on the apron and then China gets close to him. He grabs her by the hair, yanks her back, and that's a tag. <laughs> <laughs> He's officially in this match now, I guess. Yes. Dave Hebner yes. is fine with this. Well, Dave Hebner is only a road agent. He doesn't know any better. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's <is> true. <laughs> so Billy hits the famous on Crash, and uh, that's pretty and they, much it. And they win. They take uh, it But China doesn't like that. China argues with Billy Gunn about him getting involved, even though Billy went out of his way to get involved to help her win. So they're still arguing. Uh, and then here comes Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett, glasses and gear, comes out and attacks China with a frying pan. And Billy Gunn no longer cares about China's well-being. <laughs> That's for <laughs> true. Billy Gunn immediately just ditches. Deborah and Miss Kitty come out with a bag. There's an apron in it. Jarrett puts the apron on it on her and gives her a frying pan and a big spoon, which he calls a soup ladle, which is not a soup ladle. <laughs> it is like a fucking salad spoon or something. It's not yeah, a fucking well, soup ladle. Yeah. Uh, Jared says, you got the frying pan in one hand, a soup ladle in the other hand, and now get in the kitchen and make me supper. And he does the double points and tells her to fuck off. <laughs> She's knocked out. She cannot go make dinner. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> unconscious. This is going to be a horrible meal. <laughs> so we go backstage. Boss Man has a bag of remains of Pepper the Dog. A doggy bag, as it says, very clearly written on the bag. Doggy bag brand doggy bag. <laughs> Apparently you're having a pepper on a pole match. Apparently. I can only imagine who booked this one. <laughs> He's still there, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Vince McMahon? Vince McMahon? Six more months, I think, right? <laughs> I bug yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, probably, if not sooner. Beginning of 2000, I think, right? It might yeah. be near the end of 99. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It's uh, There's a pole. And it has the doggy bag up there, doggy bag brand doggy bag with Pepper's deep fried remains. If you don't know, uh, Pepper was Al's. Yeah, the pole is very high actually. Pepper was Al Snow's dog. That the bit. <laughs> How do I explain this without sounding like a crazy person? The That's big boss man kidnapped, dog napped Pepper, uh, and then killed the dog. And then fed the dog to Al Snow. He cooked the but dog. But Al Snow food. didn't finish his meal, so there's still. Still remains of the dog left that have now been deep fried and put in the bag for this match. <laughs> what the person <laughs> wins? I don't know. <laughs> I guess they just win the dog bag. <laughs> this is leading to, of course, the legendary Kennel from Hell match at Unforgiven, which was a cage and then a Hell in a Cell with dogs in it. Dogs uh, having dogs. sex, shoot, having the dogs, sex and yeah, pissing so, and shitting. Well, uh, did, we didn't, did, we didn't watch that for watches, did we? I feel like we've we never watched that match. No. Uh, okay. Yeah. Spoilers for if you haven't seen that match, uh, the match sucks, and all the dogs on the outside fuck and shit and piss <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> That's awesome. Like, on, like you think about on the pay per view, <laughs> the worst thing these dogs do, they did all of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but we have a match here. Pepper on pole. Uh, Al Snow runs to the ring. They start fighting. Uh, I guess the last week the British Bulldog came back and he beat the bossman for the hardcore title, but he didn't want it, so he gave it to Al Snow. Al Snow is not here with the hardcore title. Who knows where the fucking hardcore title is? <laughs> Who knows? Bossman hits Al Snow in the gut with a nightstick, uh, and then here comes the British Bulldog with the Rottweilers that you will probably see at the pay per view. I don't know if it's the same ones, I can't verify. Uh, Bossman is afraid of the dogs. He's standing on the top rope. The dogs are running around the ring barking at him. He's very far away from them, though, because he's on the top rope. Bossman grabs the doggy bag, which what I would I would assume that means he wins, but no, he grabs the doggy bag and throws it across the ring to the floor, and then Al Snow goes out of the ring and grabs it, and Al Snow wins, and then 
Al Snow runs away with dead, deep-fried dog remains. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Rottweilers chase boss man, and boss man bumps over the barricade. <laughs> This was so weird. I don't know if maybe we're maybe we're not supposed to understand. Maybe this stuff was not meant to go like be seen again. They didn't expect technology to be advanced enough that and yeah. maybe that episode would like get their VHS would eventually die and like you wouldn't see it anymore. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could think here. <laughs> Cause this was fucking stupid. So backstage segment, Triple H is outside saying something with a big ass AC unit going crazy, so I have no clue <laughs> what he said. <laughs> All you can see is someone in the back. You can't see shit. It's Yo, stone, stone cold. cold. Yeah, oh, stone cold I mean, in the back. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> it's like the weirdest fucking thing. It's not like he's walking in the back. He like creepily peeks out and then he slides back in. Somehow the Austin knew that they would be cutting this promo here, so he just decided to stand in the back of a trailer and watch it. Why did he, he was there all that? night? He was all night waiting for him. He's just looking. It's in just the a shadows. coincidence. It was just that's where Austin hangs out. That's his locker room. <laughs> no, he's, uh, uh, that's the bottom line. That's all, that's all I got to say about that. If you want to see Stone Cold in the back of a trailer, then go backstage. <laughs> and you'll find me there. <laughs> and then James, the smack of the night. Yeah. So it's Cindy Margolis getting figure four <laughs> by Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> CindyMargolis.com, by the way. Duke Nukem Zero Hour for the N64. Dude, that game was ruled. I remember that I don't game. I never, never played, played it. Was it good? I yeah, never played good, that game. Good console game. Yeah, yeah. We have Jeff Jarrett versus Test. Jeff Jarrett's back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a title Jarrett. is on the line, by the way. The crowd chants, we want puppies before we even get out the gate. They don't give a single fuck about this match. Spoilers, there's a big 10-man brawl near the end. All the crowd is chanting for are tits. <laughs> they just want tits, bro. That's all they want. <laughs> Tess looks good here, man. This fucker got fucked. Fuck you, Triple H. Tess should have been a bigger goddamn deal. Yeah. And you fucked him. You fucked I, real good. I bet good. Triple H said, hey, man, yeah, you shouldn't do the test bomb for your finish, kid. Yeah, you should not do anything, actually. You should lose all the time. You shouldn't have a finisher. You should never be able to do Look it. Look your girl, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bitch. Uh, test hits all the classics here. It's the big boot. It's the test bomb. Uh, gets jumped by the Mean Street Posse. Uh, the classics, of course. <laughs> 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 the classic is boot, test bomb, jumped by the Mean Street Posse. <laughs> Honestly, Yes. <laughs> Uh, Tess goes out to try to fight them, uh, but Jarrett crotches them on the top rope. Mark Eaton is your referee, by the way. I don't remember what the fuck his role was. But. Yeah, me neither. He's uh, Jarrett throws Tess over the top rope. Rodney distracts the ref as Pete Gas whoops Tess ass. Then Stephanie comes out to confront Rodney, very cold, uh, pulls him off the apron. Shane comes out and is confused and clotheslines Rodney. <laughs> he, like, runs out and goes, huh? And then clotheslines Rodney. I don't know what he thought was going on here. Pete Gass come, uh, attacks Shane. Then Patterson and Briscoe come out in the shorts. <laughs> and then Meat comes out as well. <laughs> what a beast. Still in the ref shirt. Still in the ref shirt. No one else is but Meat. Meat is still an official. They attack the Mean Street Posse. There's a 10-person brawl going on the ring. The crowd is chanting, we want puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Jarrett hits a top rope divorce court on test uh, to fuck his arm up. I guess that's for an angle or something. Yeah, because uh, they show it later. Yeah. Stephanie's in the ring to check on test, and Jarrett needs to get it done. <laughs> Jarrett goes <laughs> to put her in the figure four, but that damn Shane makes the save. So no figure four for Stephanie. Any woman that showed the screen, Jarrett went after. <laughs> it got a pop, too. <laughs> <laughs> slut, slut, slut. <laughs> so time is for the main event. Yes. Triple H versus, well, who knows? We don't really know. Who knows? Tess and Stephanie are seen leaving the arena in the back. Tess's shoulders are fucked up, so it can't um, be test. Can't be test. Mm. And Triple H goes on a tangent for what feels like a half hour. Oh my! This is like I don't know if something else went short, so they had to do this, or Triple H was just really getting into the rhythm of talking forever. It maybe it was a combination of the two. Also, uh. This pay-per-view, Unforgiven, brought to you by Magic the Gathering. Triple H says, I have been given the right to choose uh, the referee. Uh, 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 he says, I have given the right to choose the referee of my choice, and that's for Drew. <laughs> <laughs> he does so, say it like that. <laughs> I have found someone that has vest a vested interest in this. Shane McMahon, if you do me the honors. And Shane is back there with Vince and Linda. Uh, just hanging out in a little shitty room. Couldn't get a better room? A little shitty room? Why is Vince uh, not a gorilla? Watching the show, bro. He's a mark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Linda is, Why Vince is Linda is even out. there? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, Triple H says, Shane, please come on down here and be my referee. Uh, Shane comes out. Oh, there's also cops 
blocking the entranceway to to stop Stone Cold from getting by because that's that's where Stone Cold would be if he was going to do a run and he'd be coming through the entranceway of course. Shane comes to the ring. Triple H then goes on a fucking hour long tangent listing off all the potential superstars there could be that could be considered for the title match tonight. Like the Undertaker, but it's not you. Or the Big Show. He says, I bashed his pea brain in with a sledgehammer already. You're out. <laughs> Kane, it's not you. Mankind gets brought up. He says, Mankind, go play with your sock. <laughs> <laughs> he says, who does that leave? Oh, yeah, the people's ass. And Jerry Lawler goes, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Lawler loses his fucking mind over that. Triple H says, Rock, you have a fascination with putting things in people's rectums. Well, I'm gonna let you get close to mine. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck what me. What is that? He says, wrecked him, man. damn near killed him. <laughs> <laughs> he says, kiss my ass, Rock. I'm gonna let you get close to my ass. And fucking, <laughs> you and Austin, <laughs> double style. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Triple H says, this is somebody special. This is an individual who's playing in a game that he wants no part of. God damn, the line sucks, too. <laughs> <laughs> This is an individual who wants to be a hero. This is an individual with the balls the size of grapefruit. God me? damn it, man. <laughs> Jerry Lawler says, me? Yeah, Lawler says, me? <laughs> Jerry says, one. Vince, you want to be a hero, Jack? You want to be a hero to your old lady? You want to be a star? He does this forever. You want to be somebody? <laughs> well, I'm going to give you the chance to be a hero. I will put it on the line to get a piece of your ass. Vince is backstage very confused. Linda doesn't know what's going on. Triple H won't stop talking. What are you, a chicken shit, Vince? Vince is still not going anywhere. <laughs> He's still sitting backstage. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, come out no, here! No, Vince dude, is not I leaving. don't want to come out here, no. Vince is, is, wants no part of this. Go away. Triple H says, you got balls? <laughs> Bring them. <laughs> Vince not Vince. even moved an inch. <laughs> It keeps cutting back to him. He doesn't want to go, dude. Hey, Leave him fuck alone. You, Vince. But, fuck hey, you, fuck Vince. you. <laughs> Trouble said, hey, what about you, Linda? You might not be able to handle the game. This is dubbed, by the way. I don't know what this is about. This is a shot of Vince and Linda in the back, and it's Triple H dubbed audio saying, What about you, Linda? You might not be able to handle the game, but I'll let you ride my bench. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck! <laughs> God damn it, this guy sucks. It's like the AEW where they did have the Dixie Cup. Yeah, uh, it was Dixie Cup, Mike. Yeah, yeah Dixie dude. Cup, Mike, yeah. So eventually, finally, fucking Vince says, "All right, I'm gonna go out there. I'm sick of him talking, dude. I can't I'm winning take the title it. tonight. That's all the yeah, fuck there is. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get in this fucking belt. I gotta do it for this business. My dad would be so pissed if we knew I gave this fucking freak the belt. <laughs> so." Oh. Vince gets in the ring. Triple H says, you got balls? <laughs> How many balls you got? Give me your balls. <laughs> Give me your balls or I'm going to be in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your balls, your grapefruits, and get close to my rectum. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, he says, you want to fight, son? Vince says, no. And Triple H says, all right, go to the back and hide behind your skirt. Yeah, your fucking skirt. You hide behind yeah, your skirt, gonna, you freak. You hide behind your skirt, your skirt. Yeah, you hide your skirt. Little skirt freak, you tell your sexually frustrated wife <laughs> that I will have sex with her if she wants to have sex. China's just standing to the right what? again. <laughs> China should have figured something was going on here. China's yeah. just literally standing there. Okay. Dude, what the fuck? That Vince was enough. definitely called an audible here. He's like, God damn it. I Vince, gotta attacks, win this title. Vince attacks Triple H from behind and the bell rings. We are on. For the WWF Championship, Triple H versus Vince McMahon and his fucking balls. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. I was gonna say, what do you think of this match, James? <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, man, Triple H stomps him out in the corner for like 25 minutes or something. It Forever? Like, yeah, dude, it's rough. I think Triple H goes for the pedigree at one point, but I don't think tri uh, I don't think Vince ever took it, so he didn't know what was going on, so he just laid on his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> this match, that. You ever oh, seen that? You ever seen that meme where like the where the the like the Pepe's looking up with like the spilled food and like there's a person <laughs> yeah. like that is Vince and Triple H for 25 minutes. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> on commentary, they say Vince was in a motorcycle accident. He injured his pelvis and his tailbone. That doesn't excuse why this shit sucked. <laughs> uh, Triple H just whoops Vince's ass <laughs> forever. Shane's cheering Vince on the whole time. Yeah, Dad. <laughs> While Vince has no chance here in hell. No. Uh, Shane and Triple H start arguing. China takes a cheap shot at Vince on the floor. Uh, Vince finally rakes Triple H's eyes and then hits him in the balls. <laughs> Dude, and, and then, then Triple H says, like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, Triple H gets up, hits the weirdest punch, and Vince crumbles. Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> they go to the floor, he's choking Vince with the camera cord, he hits Vince, who then very slowly lays on the announce table. <laughs> uh, Triple H then goes on the barricade, dives off, and hits an elbow drop through the table on Vince, which was kind of cool. China gives Triple H a chair, Shane stops him from using it. Triple H pie faces Shane and then fucking smashes the chair over Vince's head, which was probably the best part of the match. Everything after they went to the outside was good. Yeah, I agree, because then it got real crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, Shane spears Triple H. China gets in and attacks Shane. Shane gets hit with a chair in the head. Vince is fucking busted open. And then here comes Linder McMahon. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Pat <laughs> Patterson and Joe Briscoe are trying to stop her from getting in the ring, but she's got to save her husband. I don't know what the fuck she thought was going to happen here. But, do, <laughs> yeah, we, Linda, what the fuck? What you Linda going to put the beat down on Triple H? <laughs> <laughs> Patterson and Briscoe then start... <laughs> it's ridiculous. Michael Cole is so stupid. Michael Cole says, oh, Patterson and Briscoe are here to calm down Triple H. They're whooping his ass. <laughs> They're, <laughs> They're like attacking him from behind. <laughs> Put the boots to him. Patterson and Briscoe then get beat up by Triple H. China grabs Linda and makes her watch Triple H fucking beat the shit out of Vince. Uh, he rubs Vince's blood on his own chest in front of Linda. Just in case that would turn her on. I guess he'd hoping to get her or excited for later. on there. Yeah, I wish. Triple H goes to Pedigree Vince, and then the glass shatter, son. And oh my god, <laughs> these cops are the worst fucking cops ever. <laughs> like, they don't <laughs> even for us, they never show up through this whole end segment. Glass shatters, no. Austin has enough time to jump the barricade, get into the ring, beat up Triple H, hit China and Triple H both with stunners. Pull Vince on top of Triple H, and then Vince wins the belt. <laughs> and then leaves. And the cops still don't. Triple H has to chase Austin. The cops don't even fucking yeah. see him ever. Cops were told to hold their position at the top of the ramp. <laughs> Nobody ever said they had to get off the ramp. <laughs> this, well, they fucking absolutely didn't, bro. They just stayed up there forever. Yeah, this so was your awesome, new, new WWF champion. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. This was like so cool. Yeah, the glass shattered and then he comes out with the fucking chain on and he yeah. stunners everybody. And yeah, this was awesome. The crowd's loving it. Anything Austin does is just money at this yeah. point. Like, just yeah. do whatever the fuck you want with this Every guy. Every show ended just like this. Shane counted the three. Tony Chimmel announced Vince as the new WWF champion. They're like raising him up. He's bleeding. His shirt's soaked. Linda's, oh my God. This is just Starts ridiculous. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure Vince vacates the title on Raw, though. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, he said he didn't want nothing to do with this shit anyways. Yeah, he just so. wanted to get off Triple H, even though Triple H wins the belt back at the pay-per-view, so what's the fucking point? Big rating pop. Spoilers. <laughs> what, what is the rate? Like, do we know the rating for this? Oh, I'll look real quick. Hold on, yeah. You want to take a guess? Uh, Probably like a 4.5. Uh, 4.5 for the SmackDown. Wow. Oh, I was close. Yeah, what'd you say, 7? Yeah, 4.7. Well, there you go. That was a really weird... But fun Change episode the of SmackDown. title, yeah, on SmackDown. Yeah, to Vince because yeah. Triple H said a shitty line. Should have fucking said that is the name of the game. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Call an audible fuck. and no refs. Go to hell. And Cindy Margolis, God bless Wait, you. Cindy Margolis. Sean Stasiak, also known as Meat in the WWF. 